Hi, it's potential repair video time. Um, I picked up this uh, Fluke 287 at a quite reasonable price because it was advertised as faulty. It was malfunctioning. Uh, wasn't quite sure, like it wasn't very clear in the uh, ad what type of fault it actually was, but it said like it's, you know, it's malfunctioning, it's, you know, um, <laughs> well, that was pretty much it. And it comes from uh, good and great technology, and it's a multimeter without a recording device, if you're wondering what that uh, means. It's actually, that's actually a, uh, like, that's actually a category definition that you have to put in for multimeters for uh, customs uh, purposes. You actually, it if it has a recording device, which this one actually does, they because this one has a recording device, so technically this meter um, goes into a distant, a different customs category. It has a uh, different uh, code, uh, uh, ninety thirty dash. Oh, I can't remember exactly, uh, dash thirty one or something. Um, and this actually has a different customs category and must be categorized different than a regular multimeter that doesn't look like the ones I sell that don't have a recording uh, capability in them. So yeah, anyway, that's just a thing. Anyway, it does seem like in really good nick, you know, there's a bit of a uh, bit of dirt and grime on there, but otherwise, you know, there's a couple of scratches on the screen. Sorry, I'm not at my regular bench. The reflections are a bit worse here, but um, yeah, you know, that's actually in really good nick. Um, it seems absolutely terrific. So let's have a look at this and uh, see if I've been diddled, <laughs> because I try and buy uh, like stuff that's sold as faulty so I can potentially do repair videos on them. And I don't have a good track record with this. Either I get something that's sold as faulty and it's 100% working, and fine, or it's some, or it's some ridiculously simple fault, like I don't know, the batteries are flat, or something, you know, a bad connection somewhere, or something like that, or, uh, or it's like completely beyond economical repair, you know, somebody's, you know, completely fried everything in, it, and it's just like actually repairing the thing is really uh, beyond economical uh, repair in terms of like time and money and stuff like that. So um, yeah, but this one, oh, someone's put the screwdriver. Had, had the screwdriver in there, but I don't know what type of batteries are in there. I haven't uh, looked at the moment, but it does. Let's actually power it on, because it does actually power it on. And it does actually power on. So here we go. Fluke True RMS Digital Multimeter. So let's see if I've been diddled. Hang on. There we go. I'll put it up like that so we can actually see it. Now, there's no error in here, and, and please forgive me, I have not used a uh, 200 series Fluke for... Oh, I don't know, decades. Um, so I don't actually remember how to use this thing. But if we go into info, what does that do? Uh, yeah, okay. Backlight. Backlight works like the functions seem to work. Okay, we've got the millivolts like it's updating. So the ADC is working. We've got, you know, the multimeter's not, uh, the um, continuity is not showing zero. Warning, lead connected in incorrectly because we've got no lead at all plugged in at the moment. But anyway, um, it appears to work. So let's try basic uh, DC volts. So I'll hook it up here to my calibrator. And what have I got? One, one volt. It's bang on. <laughs> sure enough, sure enough, I've got one volt set. Um, it's, it's bang on. Uh, I'll give the connections a wiggle like this. Just to make, like, you know, like, might have been a bad input jack or something, but nope, nope, that's, that's fine. <laughs> okay, all right, um, like, I can go up a range, for example, go up to 10 volts, and it's, like, it's, it's bang on to the least significant digit. Um, all right, well, let's do uh, current. So let's go into milliamp mode here. I've got one milliamp. So let's plug it into the uh, microamp jack. Yeah, warning leads incorrectly, so the lead input detection works. And let's go, oh, I have to operate that. There we go, one milliamp, it's bang on. It's even got the good fuses in there. Well, it's not quite bang on, it's a couple of least significant digits out. <laughs> Jeez, come on, seriously. Does this have like a thousand milliamp range? Yeah, no, a thousand microamp range, yeah. Look, um, so 999.8 microamps, everything's hunky-dory. Um, I can, of course, try the amps uh, jack. I can uh, increase the range on that. This only goes up to like 100 milliamps, so no worries, but that'll at least let us uh, try that. And 100 milliamps. Ah, oh, the 10 amp fuse could be gone in there. 
Yeah, I'd say, yeah. Yeah, 100 milliamps, yeah, it should be showing that, shouldn't it? Um, amps DC, yeah, it should be showing that. So, eh. <laughs> The ohms had better be faulty, damn it. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, I can't cop a break, can I? Try and buy something faulty. And 10k, bang on. Like, you know, 1k, that's going to be pretty close to spot on too. Yep, that's just fine. And again, did all the connections. It's fine. This was sold as... I got diddled. Malfunction. Look, malfunction. <laughs> Not as advertised. I'm returning it, damn it. <laughs> um, uh, I can't win. I seriously can't win. Like, I'm sure the AC is fine too. Um, yeah, let me try the calibrator. Here we go. I've got it set to uh, 3 volts. Uh, AC, so let's operate that. It'll take a second to settle down, and one, but once it's settled down, it locks in, and bam, it's that's as close to bang on as you're gonna get. Uh, yeah, they're all set to zeros on there, but I haven't just well, I haven't this haven't warmed this uh, AC calibrator up. It's just just turned it straight on and operate, and, and basically that is bang on, and that's well within spec anyway. Like the AC specs usually, I don't know what is it on a good meter like this, like 0.2% or something. So, yeah, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be good enough. So, damn it. Um, that meter works. W what else can I test? Uh, I don't know, continuity? Uh, here we go. And where do you select? How do you select? Where's the select button? Oh, continuity up there. Okay, fancy pantsy. Continuity works just fine. And zero and ohm, ohm ski. Come on, 0.07 ohms, yep, yep, it works. Can't copper break, can't copper break. I bought this thing as malfunctioned. Um, they definitely, like, I can't remember the exact wording, but it wasn't very clear, but they definitely made a point of saying that this was, like, this had malfunctions and all sorts of things with it. Um, and it's just, it's just fine. <laughs> oh, it's got multi-level um, LED backlight. Oh, that's kind of cool. Anyway, let's have a look here. And in the battery compartment, how does, no. Was that, was that already open, was it? Hang on. Ah, whoa, jeez. There we go. That's open. And, yeah, I've got two fuses in there. It's got uh, six Bexel batteries. Prime battery, alkaline jobbies, so yeah, don't want to leave those in an expensive meter like this. But it's in beautiful nick. Look, there's no leakage, there's no issues whatsoever. Um, so yeah, but that uh, that 10 amp fuse was uh busted, wasn't it? So we can check that. Could have checked that with the meter itself. Um, don't actually know which ones what. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, 0.8 ohms and no, yep, yeah, yep, yep, she's open. So that one there, I've got a spare one of those hanging around, so no worries, can fix that, and I'm sure that works. Um, so yeah, that's not an issue whatsoever. So, <sighs> unbelievable. Well, so much for my repair video. I thought that would be interesting. Um, like, I did know it powered up, but it said they were very clear that something was malfunctioning, it had multiple malfunctions or something. And no, no. It works absolutely fine. So whether or not they were just covering themselves for selling second hand, there are some dealers that actually do that because they don't want the, you know, they don't want people to, like if it's slightly out of spec or something, they don't want someone to return it. So they sell it as faulty, you know, malfunction. So I don't know. There you go. Um, tear down video maybe, but there you go. That is my luck in getting um, second hand gear for teardown videos. I don't know how the other YouTubers do it. I, I mean, you know, occasionally I've done like an, an interesting repair video. It's not like I don't get any, but uh, they're, they're few and far between. Like I try, I try to buy stuff to repair and it's like, looks like it's fully functional. Unbelievable. Anyway, catch you next time.